welcome back to Ginger Ninja's Movie Reviews. I am the Ginger Ninja, and yes, these are not my movie reviews. That's right, it is a DVD haul, a DVD and Blu-ray haul. These are movies that have come to me in January, um, you know, some through Boxing Day sales, so they arrived in January. Others, you know, picked up through the month. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it and show you what I've got. First up, Pulse. Now this is, uh, a lot of people aren't huge fans of it, but I really dig the first one. The second and third ones, you know what? I can take those or leave them, they're not as good, but the first one, there is this vibe about it, this feeling, this desolation, the color tone, I don't know what it is, but it just, it's really good. Plus it's got Kristen Bell in it. Um, now I know it is a remake of Cairo, and that is far superior, but I really do get a kick out of this one. Next up we have the 80s classic, The Wraith. This one is phenomenal, but if you want to see my thoughts on it, go check out my review on it. I'll pop the link down below. I did have this on DVD, which I was happy to swap with uh, my good mate Raul Madblood over on the Madblood's channel. Go check out their channel. I'll pop their link down below as well. Um, yeah, highly recommend you check them out, but swap my DVD copy because I upgraded to the Blu-ray. And this is a phenomenal movie. Like I said, great cast. Yeah, I'm really happy to have this on Blu-ray now. Next up, we have the coming of age werewolf story, Ginger Snaps. Who does not love Ginger Snaps? Like seriously, it is a fantastic movie. The second and third ones, I don't fully remember. I know I've seen the second one. I'm pretty sure I've seen the third one, but the first one is just fantastic. Catherine Isabel, Emily Perkins are amazing in this film. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend you check it out. Next up, we have one that I've already shown, and yes, we will be doing a live show or a watch party of this one. It is Drag Me to Hell. Got the lenticular cover on this one hopefully you can see that i am really happy to have this in my possession now like it's such a good movie it's so much fun it's creepy it's freaky it's sam raimi at his best amazing work and yeah definitely a fun one and can't wait to do the watch party on that uh make sure you keep it on my community page because that's where you'll get the notification and if you haven't Hit the notification bell so you are notified when I'm doing a watch party. I'll be doing more of them as the year progresses. Like I've said before, I want to get better at doing live streams and that's going to be one of them. Now the next one is a little something unusual. And Mikey's more recommended it. So it is Night of Something Strange. Now I have seen this one a long time ago, well, a few years back, and it is a really messed up but fun film so i had to get it so thank you mikey for recommending this one again if you haven't definitely check out mikey's mall his channel is fantastic he goes through his collection showing movies that don't get a lot of airtime people don't talk about and he always mentions little gems like this one so thank you very much mikey and if you haven't check out his page and subscribe to him next up we have what I consider to be probably my favorite Alfred Hitchcock film, it is The Birds. There's just something about this film. I think it's the, maybe the desolation at the end, the final scene, the creepiness, the, yeah, it's just damn good. I really dig this one. So yeah, really happy to get this into my collection. I'm going to kick it off with Vanishing on 7th Street. Now, I know a lot of people don't talk about this, but I found this to be a very creepy and effective film. Um, it's got a good cast, Hayden Christensen, Thandi Newton, John Leguizamo. Definitely worth checking out. Bit of a different one, but it is Idiocracy. Yep, from Mike Judge, the creator of Beavers and Butthead and <laughs> Office Space, and comes Idiocracy. And this is, without a doubt, a fantastic movie. If you have not seen it, I do recommend you check this one out. Now, it wouldn't be a movie haul if I didn't have something 
completely random and out there, but the Troma film, Surf Nazis Must Die. Very happy to add this into my collection. It's, I remember seeing this on VHS and it was just a completely messed up film. But yeah, what do you expect from Troma? Next up is a very divisive film. Um, for me, when I first watched this, I don't know if I was in the right frame of mind to really take it in. It's a very different film for this director. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting, yeah, really diving into this one and checking it out with a clear mind. Lords of Salem from Rob Zombie. Um, now look, I am a huge fan of all of his films previously, but this one for some reason, like I said, I don't know if I was in the wrong frame of mind, maybe, but I really didn't get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Like, I, it was very strange film. Very strange, to say the least. Next up is a TV series. It only went for one season, which is quite unfortunate, because I really enjoyed this one. The Event. Yeah. Really happy to have this, because I did enjoy this season. Like, it was one season, so... But it's really hard to see it anywhere else you can't. I mean, maybe you can see it on YouTube, but it's not streaming anywhere as far as I'm aware. So really glad to have that in my collection so I can watch it at any time I like. Next up, the really out there film, but it's Keanu Reeves, Robert Downey Jr., Woody Harrelson, Winona Ryder in Richard Linkletter's A Scanner Darkly. This is a trippy ass film. Like if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean, but they use rotoscoping in it and it's so effective. Getting into some action here, we have Kiss of the Dragon. Jet Li, Bridget Fonda, kick ass film. Really, really good action scenes in it. Getting closer to the end now, so buckle up cause Danny, whoa no, Hummingbird, Jason Statham. Next one's a different one, but yeah. Um, this one's a, I haven't seen this one. It was actually recommended to me when I did my um, transporter reviews. Um, I think that was last year or the year before I reviewed the transporter series and yeah, someone said check that one out because it's much better than the transporter sequels. So yeah, looking forward to checking that out. I mean, it's early Jason Statham and very rarely does you do wrong. This one's from 2012, so yeah, very early Jason Statham. Now, here is a badass one. Danny Trejo, badass. This is great. He's mean. He's angry. He's old. It's Danny Trejo. Now, next up is one which I'm sure I've seen, but I just cannot remember. 51. Maybe the aliens wipe my memory of this one. I don't know, but... I'm going to check it out again. I do remember seeing a um, found footage one very, which had the, I think it was called 51. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, can't remember, but I'm going to check it out and I'll let you guys know what I think. I'm a sucker for any possession film and this one, no exception. The Devil Inside, based on true events. Now, if that doesn't get you a motor run for a good possession film, I don't know what will. Like, look at that just creepy. Now finally we have another TV series and this is a phenomenal one. I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't. It is Dead Set, a zombie film or a zombie TV series. I think it's about six episodes based in the UK in the Big Brother household while Big Brother's being filmed. Absolutely phenomenal. Definitely recommend you check this out. I'm so glad to have this because when I first saw this I knew I had to get it and yeah. It is one of the best zombie TV series out there. So you have it. That is my latest haul video. Have you seen these films or TV series? If you have, let me know what you thought of them down below. Are you going to check any out? Do you want me to review any of these? Let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, do hit that thumbs up button. It'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I do upload a new video. Or, like I'm going to do with uh, Drag Me to Hell, a watch party. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you have a great day. Bye.